Boy, I feel so hard for Izzy. When you get guys like Pajeda or get guys like Cedric Dumbe, you get to see elite striking. Yeah. And it's also you get to see this problem. Like with Pajeda, you saw it with the Adesanya fight. Doesn't really know what to do when guys are wrestling him. Mm -hmm. You know, and that was a big problem when Izzy got his back and he couldn't get out of that. It's like, wow, he was very sluggish on the ground. This is like a marked difference between the fluidity and the efficiency that he has on his feet. And then when Adesanya got him on the ground, you could say, like, whoa. Because he's gonna have a problem with like the Robert Whitakers of the world or the Marvin Vittori's, these big fucks that know how to wrestle. Mm -hmm. He's a genetic freak. Yeah, there's a lot going on with that guy. He's incredibly mentally tough. He's he's got insanity in those the power punches and strikes. Is you you watch him hit guys and they you can tell like right away they're, they're like oh fuck mm. like you could see it he puts it on them and they're like oh jesus christ like the danger is so high he's got that one punch ko power one strike ko power and he's so intelligent about how to place it on a chin he really knows how to hit people there and then on top of that he's fucking enormous yeah he's big you can't believe that guy weighs 185 pounds you know, I walk around, I'm probably like 200 pounds. How the fuck is that guy 15 <laughs> pounds lighter than me? He's so much bigger than me. He's huge. And then you see him get into the cage. He's like 225 when he when he fights, when he re rehydrates, which is just bananas. Seriously. I, I uh, So, like, I was actually watching Izzy and Perea, the, the first fight recently, and uh, he has his hands in a spot, too, where he's almost like, like, hit me. You yeah. Know? Like, come on, hit me. Yeah, he's Be almost baiting you. Yeah, because he, you know, like that size of a guy fighting a guy like Israel, that, that to me is where I like really understand why that fight went the way that it went a little bit is because when someone that big compared to you is standing there kind of like this and just like marching you down with their hands down, it's a little bit intimidating to just be like, well, do I just like nail this guy? You know, because if he slips and I like don't hit him, he's going to like chuck and fuck me up so i think that that's a little bit of like a giant advantage for for that dude it's also he's got a very unusual stance yeah he stands straight up mm -hmm. and he keeps his hands like this and he just sort of like straight and then he throws kicks with no telegraph and he doesn't throw him full power but he's got so much power that when he starts throwing those low kicks like i watched the the first fight a few times now uh the first mma fight and he he fucked Izzy's calf up mm -hmm. multiple times in that first round with zero telegraph. So it's not like one of those like dig in and turn your body over. It's just top, top. Yep. He's just top, just throw it, and it doesn't come out of anywhere. You're not you're not you're not seeing any reads. Yeah, yeah. Those are the toughest guys to fight, honestly. The guys that don't telegraph anything. Yeah. You know, you're plenty powerful just having all that adrenaline in you. You don't need to be loading up too much. That said, if you go back and watch the first fight, Izzy was winning that fight. Izzy was winning the mm -hmm. grappling exchanges. He took him down, controlled him on the ground, and he was doing great in the striking, rocked him in the first round, had him in real trouble. That first round is 30 seconds longer. Izzy retains his title. So it's one of those things is like, I, this is not a mismatch. And it's not like, boy, I feel sorry for Izzy. No, it's like, whoa, how is this going to go down? Yeah. How is this going to go down? And when you got a guy with a mind like Izzy's, where he's so fucking determined and so smart and so laser focused he thinks he's got the solution he thinks he's got it he's gonna figure it out and then you've got this other thing where when someone becomes a champion there's a, this sort of school of thought that they almost immediately become 10 or 20 percent better yeah 